another 95. Another 95 theses for another reformation. Thesis number 24. Because of his obedience, Jesus Christ now sits in indescribable majesty and glory at the right hand of the Father. Because of his obedience, Jesus Christ now sits in indescribable majesty and glory at the right hand of the Father. Therefore is a connector word that connects before to after, effort to results, seeds planted to harvest reaped. The Lord Jesus had his therefore between life on earth and life after his return to heaven. Philippians 2, 5 and 8, 5 to 8, Jesus Christ, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a servant, and coming in the likeness of men. And he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Life on earth was Christ's season of seeding. Following this holy sojourn on earth was Christ therefore. Philippians 2.9 therefore and after therefore comes the Lord's harvest Philippians 2 9 to 11 therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord father was not being generous to his son he was being just Lord Jesus got what he deserved nothing more he was so heavily rewarded because he bowed so low obeyed so fully our therefore will be it wondrous or terrible or somewhere between is on route linking our life on earth to our eternity in the New Jerusalem. Our now will soon be our before, followed by our therefore, followed by our eternal after. Today we seed, tomorrow we reap. 2 Corinthians 5.10, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. This judgment reveals our, therefore, the value of our eternity. Eternal rewards attained and eternal rewards lost will be exact because our judge is just. Perfectly so. As Lord Jesus, we will get what we deserve, nothing more nothing less. The wise Christian then bows low before the master and obeys fully.